Tres a cuore in Italian that says, soprattutto deve essere bella. Above all, it must be beautiful. Automobili Pininfarina is always celebrating innovation. And who is the best innovator of all times? Definitely Leonardo da Vinci. We are here to partner with the British Library for this exhibition, A Mind in Motion, that is showing some of the best works of Leonardo da Vinci. We are offering the possibility to really look at the notebooks in depth. And the notebooks give you this extraordinary, unique insight into the way his mind worked, which is why we've called the exhibition A Mind in Motion, yes, because it is this insight um, into his mind. Leonardo was a true genius. He was the first one to combine together disciplines like art, design, engineering. I think it's the emphasis on the clarity. It's using drawing to understand the structure. Leonardo embodies very, very well that partnership between form and function, beauty and efficiency of a machine. He didn't actually have the technological yes. capacity, the technical means to build those machines, but he's, he's imagining them. Leonardo is sort of very relevant as an inspiration to people now to be curious about everything they see and, uh, and find out how it works. From Leonardo in the 16th century to Automobili Pininfarina in 2019, those principles remain strong. We are proud to be part of a Mind in Motion exhibition because we are proud of what Italian designers brought to the world during the centuries. We are in London at the British Library to celebrate the master of Leonardo da Vinci in his uh, exhibition, A Mind in Motion. Automobili Pininfarina is always celebrating great innovations. And of course, Leonardo da Vinci was probably the greatest innovator of all times. This is why we decided to take Battista here, that is our fully electric hypercar, and uh, to actually celebrate this kind of uh, marriage between a mind in motion uh, uh, exhibition and Automobili Pininfarina. Uh, for me personally, it's uh, first uh, a great uh, uh, reason of, uh, of inspiration because uh, having the chance to see those pieces all together for the first time uh, and uh, getting a glimpse on uh, how Leonardo was thinking inside his mind, so it's, it's, it's an unbelievable privilege for us. So and this, is, this is why we are here, I think. Battista was a visionary of his time because uh, in the automotive world he actually uh, introduced a lot of things in, thinkings about uh, aerodynamic, about uh, new technology and uh, I think he had something in common with the curiosity of Leonardo, with the curiosity of going always forward and trying new things. And this is the approach that uh, you know, the, the Pininfarina family has taught us to do, to do the Battista and to carry on this project. Mind in Motion exhibition, uh, of course, is rele very relevant uh, for Battista because uh, this is probably the, the result of a lot of minds in motion that are the part of the team that made the car possible. And Battista is, uh, is a, a masterpiece of Italian design with uh, unbelievable performance because we are talking about a car that will do from 0 to 100 kilometers per hour, 0 to 60 miles per hour in two seconds. And uh, it has a more, a more or less 1900 brake horsepower and uh, 2300 newton meters of torque so it's a mind-blowing experience driving one of those cars and this is probably the best uh, possible uh, way of celebrating the motion idea we're very excited by bringing together you know images and text from three of the notebooks because it's allowed us to set up what you might want to call a conversation between these notebooks, the themes that interested Leonardo and principally the theme of movement. So we're able to watch Leonardo exploring the theme of movement um, in, in different ways. But some of the most wonderful items in the exhibition show his drawings of water 
in, in movement. Um, waves and wave motions, different forms of waves, waves just before they break, or waves as they roll onto the shore. He was fascinated by spiralling movements, um, and that comes up again and again in the different drawings you, you see. But also, he was interested by the shapes of ripples, surface ripples on, on rivers. Um, what happens when two waves cross and intersect? And there are the, some, some of the most exquisite drawings done with real precision of this interlacing, rippling effect. Um, of course, Leonardo was also interested in not only in representing or depicting these, these things, but also understanding how they worked. Why do two waves, when they meet, intersect? How do they intersect? Why do they create those forms of ripples, those patterns of ripples? And that's the other wonderful thing that you get from the exhibition, this, this real effort to understand the phenomena he's observing and drawing. I think most people, when they hear the name Leonardo, they think of his paintings, you know, the, the great, the famous paintings like the Mona Lisa or like the Last Supper in Milan. Um, and they might be aware of this huge um, legacy of the notebooks, but perhaps they've never looked at them um, properly or in detail. Um, and this exhibition gives an extraordinary insight into this aspect of Leonardo's legacy um, by showing his notebooks in detail, by bringing the three notebooks together, um, it really will enable visitors to immerse themselves um, in this world. Um, they're, they're wonderfully detailed. I mean, um, uh, we hope that visitors will really sort of engage with the sheets. There's a lot to look at, a lot to be fascinated by. Um, but I think we also hope that visitors will take a, a lot away from this exhibition, which when they then go to see the famous paintings in other exhibitions and in other galleries, they will understand those paintings much better because of what they've seen in the notebooks, the detailed studies of water in movement, um, of rock formations, of geology and so on. Um, a lot of what Leonardo was doing in his notebooks fed into his work as a painter. So we hope that our exhibition will also help people to see Leonardo with new eyes. Yeah, we're very pleased by this partnership um, and we hope that it reflects um, the idea of innovation. Um, uh, Leonardo um, didn't know about cars, obviously. I mean, he was interested in flying machines, but he didn't know about cars. But we think that Leonardo would have been fascinated by the effort to um, produce um, a car which is innovative, which is environmentally conscious, but also beautiful. I mean, those aspects of an engineering project um, would have, would have I'm sure, would have fascinated Leonardo. So it's a very appropriate partnership, and the British Library is very pleased that Pininfarina has been able to partner with us. On behalf of Dame Carol Black, and the board and all of us at the British Library, uh, a very, very warm welcome. I'm Roly Keating, I'm Chief Executive here, and it is fantastic to see so many of you gathered here to celebrate the opening of Leonardo da Vinci, A Mind in Motion. Um, we are delighted that as our contribution to the global commemorations of uh, the 500th anniversary of the great man's death, uh, we have been able to seize a genuinely historically unique opportunity to bring together highlights of three of his most remarkable notebooks. Hello everybody, thank you for being here first. Uh, it's a great, great honor to be here representing Automobili Pininfarina in this, uh, I think, fantastic place and uh, being inspired, as I think all of you are, by what is, uh, in our opinion, one of the biggest geniuses of all time. Leonardo is a great inspiration for our work uh, all day and uh, his approach to things, his approach to relationship between uh, design, engineering and, and art is something that uh, really is impressive for us uh, every single day. 
And uh, I think, I hope that you can see a little bit of the result of this inspiration here outside. We have exposed uh, our hypercar, full electric Battista. Hope you enjoy uh, and have a look at it. And uh, the genius of Leonardo is very similar to the genius of our, well, not very similar, but, uh, <laughs> but uh, you know, it's, uh, it's, it was inspiring this definitely for the, for the founder of our company, that is, uh, was Battista Pinin Farina, that uh, actually inspires every day uh, us into delivering uh, uh, what you see outside as, uh, as hypercars. And uh, yeah, that's it. Uh, from my side, it's a great pleasure to, to be here. And I uh, hope you will enjoy your dinner and uh, your, your evening, and uh, you will enjoy the, the, the exhibition as much as I did, really getting inspired from these beautiful, beautiful pages. So thank you very much for everything. These are quite difficult pages. The Codex Leicester is 72 pages of what I've called the most difficult stuff you ever hope not to encounter. Written in mirror writing, uh, incredibly complicated intellectually, with lots of diversions and so on. And the Mind in Motion is a good uh, title for a Leonardo show for two respects. His mind is always moving. It's never static, it never settles on one thing. If he looks at the movement of water, he looks at the curling of hair. If he looks at the curling of hair, he thinks about spiral philotaxis in plants. If he's thinking about the movement of water, he thinks about how do the butt valves in the heart work, uh, given the vortices of blood. So he's always moving, it's always restless. The other sense of mind in motion is the actual motion out there that he looks at. Um, everything he looked at, he said, why does it look like that? Even if it's a static object, how has it been formed? He knows that everything comes out of some sort of dynamic process. Even if it's a fixed form, it's generated in some way. And things that obviously move, move. But it is just extraordinary. It's the most dynamic view of nature of probably anyone at any time. Um, and is consistently enthralling. And without necessarily looking at the text and so on, if you go downstairs, you will see this sense of the movement of his mind and the movement of nature as absolutely complementary things. So I think my job is to declare the exhibition open in a properly regal manner, which, I, which I'm happy to do. Thank you.